Philippe Cabrera Sarabia and his three younger brothers began working in organized crime sometime in the 1990s. They grew up in the small town of Vasco Gil, in the state of Durango. The Cabrera faction of the Sinaloa cartel is composed of four of the Cabrera brothers. They are Philippe Cabrera Sarabia, alias El Zero Uno or Zero One, Alejandro Cabrera Sarabia, alias El Zero Dos or Zero Two, Jose Luis Cabrera Sarabia, alias El Zero Tres or Zero Three, and Luis Alberto Cabrera Sarabia, alias El Arqui. According to official records, the Cabrera brothers began as marijuana growers in the mountains of Durango. They quickly began working under Joaquin Guzman, El Chapo, and Ismael Zambada, El Mayo, of the Sinaloa cartel. As their criminal careers began to flourish, and under the guidance of El Mayo and Chapo they shifted more towards drug smuggling, specifically of heroin. Through Durango and parts of Chihuahua as the drug shipments made their way north to the U.S. The Cabrero brothers, however, began to have competition for areas in Durango when another Sinaloa cartel group called Los Emis rose to power. The Cabrero brothers waged a bloody war against Los Emis, which was led by Mario Nuez Meza, alias M10. The high death toll of this war is likely what drew the attention of federal authorities to the cartel figures in Durango. In December 2011, El Zero No or Zero One was arrested in Culiacan, Sinaloa, by the army. His brother, El Zero Dos or Zero Two, took over control of the group and continued their drug smuggling operation. In January 2012, Mexican Sedina Special Forces soldiers began an operation which aimed to arrest El Arqui, one of the lesser-known Cabrera brothers, in a remote area of Canatlan, Durango. Their first attempt managed to grab 11 of his hitmen, killing another, however El Arqui and his bodyguards escaped the area during the chaos of battle. El Arqui fled to a cave nearby and hid out inside it, protected by a number of bodyguards. The soldiers were able to find the cave and they attempted to arrest him a second time but Arqui and four of his hitmen decided to go down fighting. All five were killed in the encounter. It was shortly after the death of Arqui that a regional boss named Gerardo Soberanes Ortiz, alias LG1, began to rise within the ranks of Los Cabreras. On February 11, 2013, Al-02 was arrested in Culiacan, Sinaloa. Al-03 took over leading the group. Al-02 was later released from prison under what some might characterize as suspicious circumstances. Al-03 seems to have been unwilling to hand back over the power to his older brother, Al-02, because although the brothers are said to lead the group together, many publications allege that Al-03 is the real leader of Los Cabreras. Meanwhile, in June 2020, Al-01 was successfully extradited to the U.S. where he currently remains in jail. For more news please remember to like and subscribe.